In the blink of an eye, February is almost over. Tomorrow is the last day of the month, the briefest month on our calendar. But why is February so much shorter than the others? Here's our why guy. Time flies. Usually it's when you're having fun, but even when you're not, the days can pass very quickly. And the month that flies the quickest is February. The month of Valentine's and Super Bowls is at least two days shorter than the other months, except during those crazy leap years, leading us to ask why. For the answer, we go back to the days of gladiators. I've just received a message from your father. The Romans had their own calendar based on the cycle of planting and harvesting their crops. There were only 10 months. No one cared about naming the period when the crops were dormant. There was an ugly moment when I thought you were really done for, Lucius. It was King Numa Pompilius who added the months we now know as January and February to the end of the calendar. Rome's second king was trying to match the 355-day lunar calendar, but it was a struggle. The Romans considered even numbers to be unlucky, so Numa made his months either 29 or 31 days. But the math still didn't add up to 355 days, so the king shortened the last month, February, to 28 days. In 45 BC, Julius Caesar created the Julian calendar with 365 days. When Caesar says do this, it is performed. Taking the advice of his astronomer, Caesar added a few days to this month and that one, taking them all to 30 or 31 days except one. February remained at 28 days, except of course for once every four years. January and February didn't move to the front of the year for another century. Despite the promotion, February is still our shortest month. If you have a question for Jerry Carnes, the Y guy, send it over on Facebook, Twitter, or email.